Hi, this is Scott Garibay, and today we're going to talk about Dungeons & Dragons, and we're specifically going to talk about Dragonlance Shadow of the Dragon Queen. Uh, we're in Chapter 4, of, uh, and it is um, Shadows of War. And at this point, the, um, the player characters return to, um, to Calamon. Uh, they're coming back from Steel Springs, and they've had a rough time at Steel Springs, right? Like, and they kind of need a little bit of spin down. They need some rest, and there is no rest to be had, okay? So basically, they come back to Calamon, and as they're coming through the gates, um, the, 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 city re the city residents are telling them, hey... Um, and a, a retinue of Knights of Salamnia, about a dozen knights have come. There's this knight uh, of Salamnia, Caradoc, who came to speak to the council, right? And uh, he's speaking to the council right now, right? And so the player characters go to the council chambers, right? And they're expecting to see Governor Miat. They're expecting to see the Calamon Council, Right. They come across this knight of Salamnia, uh, and his and he is an Order of the Rose, and now we're starting to see you know Order of the Rose, Order of the Crown, uh, Order of the Sword, right? And we're getting some ideas on what are the differences of these orders, right? But this is but uh, Caradoc is an Order of the Rose, Knight of Salamnia. But something's wrong. Something's off, right? So the player characters come into the council chambers, and all of the council are dead, right? And there's one knight of Salamnia there, uh, Caradoc, right? And um, and it's clear that the knight of Salamnia has this knight of Salamnia, Caradoc, has slain all of the council of Calamon, including Governor Miath, right? And this is a major problem, right? Like this, this is bad. And also, one of the things you know, we're seeing this ramp up from F. Wesley Snyder as he as he writes uh, um, Dragonlance: Shadow of the Dragon Queen, where one of the things that is very different about this D and D cat in hardback and this adventure is a lot of times I think uh, the players are used to having a lot of agency and being able to control events pretty significantly, right? And here, uh, the events are completely out of their control, right? Things are just happening and they're responding. Now, why is this? Why do we see this, um, you know, this reaction and then response the way we're, the way we're seeing, it, you know, in um, the way we're specifically seeing this in uh, Dragonlance Shadow of the Dragon Queen? Well, the reason why is we're seeing this from the perspective of, um, we're really seeing this very directly from the perspective of war, right? Fog of war, right? And I... What's really shocking to me, okay, so the timing on Dragonlance Shadow of the Dragon Queen was that there was, it came, so war erupted in Ukraine, IRL, in February, right? But there was a lot of talk that war was going to come for months before that, right? So as F. Wesley Schneider is writing this, he's either consciously putting in analogies to Ukraine, Russia's war, uh, which was fully expected, um... Actually, that's not correct. There were some people who expected it and others said it wouldn't happen, right? And so you're either seeing F. Wesley Snyder's conscious analogies to the Ukraine-Russian Russian war, or you're seeing his subconscious analogies, like that his own that his own person was affected as he went forward, right? Very, very interesting. So uh, this is, you know, so them coming across Knight of Sol the, the Knight of Salamnia, Order of the Rose, Caradoc. Who are we dealing with here? Who who is Caradoc, right? Well, first of all, he's he's a he has the ability to pose as a human and he looks alive to all the people that he walked past when he went into Calamon, but here it's clear that he is dead, right? He is undead, right? And so he has magic, he has these, this ability to, to deceive, right? But at the same time, and, but, and, and the other thing is, not only does um, Caradoc come out, at, you know, has he slain all of these, uh, um, the council members, but he, he introduces Lord Soth and gives a note to the player characters saying, hey, I'm Lord Soth, and I am claiming Calamon as an, as an, as a previous knight of Salamnia, Order of the Rose, right? And he's saying that Caradoc is his representative here, his agent here, right? 
And he's saying that Calamon is now his, and that's why all the council members are dead, right? And so this is just, it's an absolutely shocking event, right? And it erupts in combat, right? So, uh, and also it's interesting because I think Caradoc is kind of set up as, you know, the player characters are expected to slay Caradoc, right? And uh, and we don't know who's going to be helping them. Is it going to be Cudgel Iron Smile, the mercenary captain? Is it going to be um, Knight in Training Darrett? Is it going to be uh, full, actually existent, uh, concurrent, actually current Knight of Salamnia Becklin, who is aligned with good? And now the player characters are like, are the Knights of Salamnia good? Are they bad? And so there's all this confusion, right? And why do we have all this confusion? Well, I really think the reason we're seeing this confusion presented the way we see in Dragonlance Shadow of the Dragon Queen is F. Wesley Snyder is discussing Fog of War, right? And we're seeing that right now, right? Like, um, there are major questions. Like, on there's really no questions on the Russian side. We know we know what it is. Uh, you know, Vladimir Putin is a villainous monster, and um, and the Russian people won't do the right thing to get the right leader, right? And so, you know, the Russians are clear villains. What about the Ukraine, right? They're the heroes, but they have they have some some issues on their side that they need to fix, and their relationship with America, right? This is this conti- like one of the one of the fog of war issues is we're helping Ukraine to help Ukraine save their nation. Are we, or are we going to take you know, or is Ukraine? We're we're working with them so directly and giving them so many supplies. Why not just stand next to them and go in? take all of Russia and then split up Russia between you uh, Ukraine gets half of Russia America gets half of Russia right there's there's some fog of war questions right are, are we allied with them or are we really just days away from being boots on the ground and let you know let's take it to Russia and let's just defeat them right it's it's a weak project right for America Vladimir Putin used to be like a superpower now he's not even a regional power a dude in a green t-shirt with surplus with extra weapons sent by the US he's struggling with Zelensky right Putin's struggling with Zelensky who's just like and so there there are these real questions of what is the future what what weapons should be used and fog of war is very real there's like it things happen so fast and I think that's what Caradoc is. He's he's a very strong manifestation within the book of Fog of War, right? And um, and also the major part of this of Caradoc is the introduction of Lord Soth. And also you're also having this this flow of, hey, we have this issue where you know this flow of information of. Lord Soth and Dragonlance, and you have all this Hickman and Weiss material, which is useful, but needs to be refurbished and reestablished for American readers, right? So all that's happening as well. Fantastic, exciting event. Dragonlance Shadow of the Dragon Queen is an unbelievably prescient, very currently important, like culturally impacting D&D canon hardback. I'm absolutely loving it. Thank you for letting me share the, all this with you and kind of walk through the book with you. Please, uh, every word that you just had is my humble opinion. What's really important is when I get to hear your humble opinion, when you get in the comments and send your traffic. Please consider liking and subscribing and have a wonderful millennium.